Hi, I'm Trawler Specialist Jeff Merrill in Deltaville, Virginia, aboard the Celine 43 Misty Pearl. Misty Pearl is a 2002 model year boat. She has just under 3,400 hours on her Cummins main engine. There's an Onan generator, bow thruster, stern thruster, air conditioning, all the creature comforts that you would expect on a world-class boat like this. Uh, she's a veteran cruiser. She's done the Great Loop. She's also done the Down East Circle. She's ocean capable. She can go to the Bahamas, Bermuda, down in the Caribbean. Really an ideal couples cruiser. The current owners are a couple. They've had uh, friends and uh, guests join them on occasion. There's two staterooms, two heads, flybridge. Again, double walk around, so easy to get around. Very easy for locks and docks. This is an exceptional boat in wonderful condition. I'm looking forward to showing you around. Let's go take a look. Celine 43 cockpit is covered overhead. The boat deck overhangs most of the way. There's actually an enclosure that will hem this area in. You have walking side decks on both sides, so I can go forward to the foredeck here, passing the pilot house on the way. Ladder right here to get up to the boat deck with a hatch above. There's an adjustable swim step right here. I can adjust it right out and put it back on the swim deck platform. Lazarette access. A grunner freezer outboard on the port side. Freshwater tank forward. Steering with autopilot, steering ram, and batteries. Cockpit shower right here, ensign. The swim deck back here is accessed through this gate. Very easy to get on and off the boat. And then there's a block and tackle right here that will pull that back extension up, the swim platform, out of the way if you want to shorten the length. Shore power connections right here, water fills, diesel, everything you need right back here in the cockpit. It's actually a nice little area. And then I can go into the salon through the Dutch door. You get into the interior of Misty Pearl through the Dutch door that enters you from the cockpit into the salon. The salon and galley are all on one level. I can go up a set of stairs to the pilot house or down a set of stairs on the port side to the living area to the staterooms. L-shaped settee back here, very comfortable for relaxing. Opening windows outboard on both sides. Great overhead standing room here. Uh, the dining table is adjustable. It will fold in to make it smaller if you wish or fold out for dining. On the starboard side for entertainment, flat screen television, stereo components. There's a relaxing chair on the starboard side. And as I work forward, I'm standing on top of the engine room. There are some bar stools that are removable that fit onto this counter. The counter then conceals most of the galley, so while you're preparing food, you can't really see what's going on, but if you're preparing food, you can be talking to the people in the salon. Some overhead lockers, microwave convection oven, a princess electric three burner stove and oven. Again, more storage forward. Fit for Frigo freezer and refrigerator, double basin sink, good counter space. There is an innovative little trash basket that you open up a little round circle right here to drop the trash into. And I just have a great sense of space in this room. I'm happy to share this with my guests. If I'm preparing food, I can be talking to the people who are out in the salon. And again, I can go up to the pilot house or down to the forward cabin from here. The pilot house on Misty Pearl is set up for adventure. There is a bench seat back behind the helm area. Behind that is a watch berth. I can go up to the flybridge from the inside, which is a great feature on this boat, or back down the lower level to the galley salon and on down to the cabins. Peak helm, compass, electronics, autopilot, active pin stabilizers, engine controls, bow and stern thruster, main engine controls, generator panel, other electronics on the side, even a handrail here. I've got the ear tech headphones for talking when I'm communicating for docking. Very comfortable pilot house to relax in, enjoy in when you're underway or at rest. The aft windows are opening on the sides and the Dutch doors open up on the top halves. They have the teak veneer on them, which gives them a dressier feel. Very comfortable. They even have drink holders in the armrest. So this pilot house is ready for activity, whether you're at rest or underway. One of the features that sets the Celine 43 apart from other trawlers is the Portuguese bridge. Good room here, easy to get around, stainless steel rails, an easy door to swing open to get up to the foredeck. You have the reverse rake windows. On this particular model, it was upgraded with the stainless steel framed 
windows around here. So you don't have any of that paint bubbling that you'll get with a powder coated aluminum. Easy to get around. And remember, this is a double walk around. So I could actually do exercise. I could do laps all the way around the boat from the side deck to the cockpit up to the Portuguese bridge and get some exercise in. Easy access up to the foredeck. I love this Portuguese bridge. I'm on the foredeck of Misty Pearl, above the owner's cabin. I've come up through the Portuguese bridge where there's a hinge door there. Ventilation hatch for the owner's cabin. Excellent ground tackle up forward. Starts with a rock to anchor, 300 feet of chain to a Muir Cheetah horizontal windlass. I have access to the chain locker through two doors. Shore power access forward is great. You can pull into the dock and plug in either forward or after shore power in both locations. A Samson post, good stainless railings. It's a comfortable place to be. Put a chair up here when you're at rest just to hang out. And when you're underway, you can stay protected in that Portuguese bridge. Boat deck on the Slim 43, the way this one's set up, gives you a lot of room on the port side. This entire deck is opened up. The dinghy is penned in in this little area right here with the stainless rails. The mast and boom are used to launch the dinghy. There are weather cloths all the way around, which gives you a little extra privacy. You can access the boat deck from the cockpit if you want. You come up a ladder there through this hatch, or you can come in through the companionway that's right at the beginning of the flybridge. I like the room that's up here. I like the railings that are up high. And then this particular boat on the back part of the bimini, we attach back here. There's some attachments and you can shade this whole port side of the boat. So very wonderful area up here. Great for being outside and you have a lot of extra space. You can command the boat from the flybridge very easily. There are two chairs for sitting around. You come up through the pilot house normally through the companionway there. There's a little cubby for storing miscellaneous items, main engine control, electronics, compass, autopilot, bow and stern thruster, stainless steel wheel, your engine controls, VHF radio. You have little windows right here where you can see what's going on down below. The bimini top gives you good shade and protection in the rain. Up forward on the wheelhouse roof, there's a hatch that gives you ventilation into the pilot house. Your searchlight's mounted there, GPS antenna, and the horns. This is really a very comfortable place to sit out when you have good weather. It's a wonderful place for operating the boat. I think this is the place you're gonna spend a lot of time when you're on board Misty Pearl. Coming down four steps from the salon, you enter the port side, the lower level. I want to show you there's a big locker outboard on the port side that is plumbed for a clothes washer dryer. There was one in there before. It's now a storage cabinet. Good access door here to get into the engine room. There's one other entry and that is through the galley. There's a floor access there. The guest stateroom, the aft guest stateroom is over here on the port side. Upper bunk, lower bunk, opening port lights, storage, hanging locker back here. And then one of the cool things with this boat is there's a convertible bulkhead. This swings close, extending your hallway. And then the cabin door closes. So if you do have guests aboard, they have their own private stateroom, right? Like this. And when you don't have guests, you can convert that and have a wider hallway area. The guests use this head right here, which has a sink, a big standing stall shower and a head. Up forward, you come up to the master level. Head and shower is right here. It has a tub in it. And then all the way up just one step, you come into the stateroom. Large island berth, easy to get in and up and out from either side. Opening port lights, port and starboard, an overhead hatch, lots of lockers, hanging lockers. Back aft, there are dresser drawers. There's also a mirror here on the starboard side. So this whole area can be shut off privacy with one of the hallway doors. So you really can have two different couples on board with privacy, comfort, and it's just a very relaxing area down below. Surprisingly, a lot of room in the Celine 43 engine room. Of course, the Cummins engine is on center line, good robust mounts. Back behind on the starboard side is the Onan generator. There's a battery bank behind me. This is the intake through hole and strainer for the generator. PSF shaft seal for the main engine to keep a dry build, and it is primarily a dry build. Main engine intake, through hull and strainers right here. Forward is the 
fuel, the dual raycores and the fuel polishing system. There's a hot water tank over on the starboard side and I can get back to the other side by dropping down from the galley is the easiest way or I can actually crawl back around behind to get to the starboard side. Hey, thanks for joining me aboard Misty Pearl today. It's a real pleasure to show a boat like this. I really enjoy so many features. There's just not enough time to cover them all in a video, but there is time to get you on board. If you'd like to come on board and take a look, we do that by appointment. You can contact me or you can contact the listing broker, Larry Friedman. Our numbers are on the screen. We do this by appointment. We'd love to get you on board. Come on board, come on, give us a call. Let's get you on board Misty Pearl and you can see for yourself what a fantastic boat she is. Thank you, I look forward to hearing from you. Hi Trawler fans, thank you for watching the JMYS YouTube video channel. I'm fortunate to be offshore again. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, you can click the button below. We also like to publish other listings and other Trawler Skills videos. You can click on one of those on the side to watch those. Thank you very much for your thumbs up. We love having you watch our videos. We love putting them together for you and hope you come back again soon.